In February 2016, 101,000 people attended the biggest mobile event in the world. Industry leaders, visionaries and innovators met to explore the trends that will shape mobile in the years ahead. This is John Hoffman, CEO at GSMA and the face of the Mobile World Congress. The secret sauce, it's, it's real simple. You sprinkle a lot of pixie dust over the very empty halls and then the next morning the Mobile World Congress sort of just grows. Um, as far as what our attendees you know, see, that's all they need to know. Over 101,000 attendees from 204 countries, 2,200 exhibitors in 240,000 square meters, 5,500 participating CEOs. 57% of this year's Mobile World Congress attendees hold senior level positions, 374 speakers over 60 sessions, and more than 3,600 international media and industry analysts have made this edition our largest ever event. This is the best Congress in the world, so we need to portray we are the best, and not only by saying, by doing. The cumulative experience of several editions, the last 10 hosted in Barcelona, has led to the establishment of a very special method of teamwork based on a creative wheel that is constantly in motion to allow us to prepare the shows in 24 months and build them up in a record time, just 12 days. Be able to demonstrate, you go from a very empty building block to something that is massively uh, constructed and then attended and then taken down, put away, and then you do it all again. Uh, it's quite an experience. The event is consolidated and our team ready to push the limits of excellence further, each edition, to keep the event on top, at the edge of innovation. Fira Gran Via is a large venue, which is located in both Barcelona and L'Hospitalet de Llobregat. In just two weeks, it will be filled with high-quality stands, theatres, a broadcast village, luxury VIP executive meeting rooms, networking gardens, restaurants and pavilions. The behind-the-scenes work, though, is a, a monumental task. Uh, our teams work 24 months ahead, we uh, very much focus attention to detail and, and to make the user experience, the attendees experience, something uh, very, very special. Building up this massive infrastructure is only possible thanks to great teamwork. It's an exciting endeavor which requires effort of titanic proportions and involves many GSMA departments. You cannot deliver something to the scale of this and the complexity of this event without working very well as a team. Preparation during the year doesn't have a defined starting point. Our teams, operations, technology, customer care, IT, marketing and sales are constantly working on improving the event. Even a few days before the 2016 Congress, strategy meetings were held to plan the years ahead. As the mobile industry continues to evolve, so must Mobile World Congress. And also from a business perspective, kind of how we're using technology and, and how we're using innovative, creative ideas to make sure that our event stays relevant, stays important to, to our industry. We try to reflect it in the event. Um, we try to make sure that we follow the industry well. And not only the industry. We focus on listening very carefully to our customers. From exhibitors' demands to accommodation or even food requests, we ensure that our event caters to their every need. We develop customer care programs to ensure that they are going to be in touch with us in an easy way and we are going to be in touch with them as well in the best way possible. We have a lot of exhibitors from um, the automotive industry, from the finance industry, from the health industry and I think over the next few years we're going to start to see more and more clients coming from these specific verticals. A new year, new branding. But the aim remains the same, 
the marketing team works to ensure that we have the right people coming to the show. We've never been about numbers. It's, it's not whether it's uh, 25,000 or 125,000. It's getting the right people together. The GSMA uh, has a board, which is the leading 26 mobile operators in the world. And the CEOs of those companies are here from Mobile World Congress. Because they're here, you then attract the CEOs of other companies. Operators, carriers, vendors, uh, uh, car manufacturers, uh, and we have uh, ministers, we have presidents, we had the chairman of the FCC, we had uh, Mark Zuckerberg. So we really have this group of what, two, three hundred people who are the VVVIPs. Hey, Peter, how are you? Good to see you. One more year. One more year. Yeah. We'll have more than 4,000 international and local press covering the event. Media impact is huge. We want to make sure everyone is here. We welcome the media and work very closely with them. We have important media partners and a media centre with the capacity for 3,800 international and local press agents. The Mobile World Live TV, our own TV channel, broadcasts live from the event to the website, to hotel rooms or to giant screens placed all over the venue. We also deliver the Mobile World Daily and a state-of-the-art digital newspaper and guide to keep all the attendees up to date. A highlight that everyone at GSMA eagerly awaits all year, the build-up. After 24 months of planning, the team sees their work built in less than two weeks. The process is overwhelming. More than six kilometers of truss are built, 1,400 motors used, and 2,452 trucks carrying a total estimated load of over 98,000 cubic meters. Operations make a tremendous effort to build stands for 2,000 exhibitors, signage, meeting rooms, lounges, restaurants, gardens and auditoriums. Every year we innovate, not only to keep the event fresh, but also to address the customers' changing demands. That's a big challenge and it's something we spend a lot of time. We try to make sure that we have some new features every year. We try to change our networking areas every year. We try to implement new ideas every year. Our technology team faces some really important challenges in developing and implementing the most advanced technology. I think our attendance management systems are probably the best in the industry and certainly the best that we've seen. We invest very heavily in ensuring the customer journey both for our exhibitors and attendees is a very smooth one. We have registration systems. We have an online exhibitor manual where the exhibitors manage their attendance. We have invitation systems, which our exhibitors use to generate audience for the Congress. We have systems that look after sessions management, so we can monitor the amount of people who are going to attend the different sessions. A total of 65 terabytes of data were exchanged in the 2016 edition, the equivalent of 125 years of MP3 music. There were 94,750 unique devices connected to the Wi-Fi network with a peak of concurrent connections of over 30,000, up a huge 38% on the year before. To ensure that networks run properly, meetings between GSMA and FIRA IT teams are key. And that we're going to manage it in a way that provides these customers what they need so that they can have a business, do the business that they need to do at the Congress. Right? So to me, it's really becoming a lot more engaged with the customer. Wi-Fi is always big here. Um, it's been big every year and it gets bigger every year. We're one of the most highly connected events in the world. Uh, we're bigger than the Super Bowl in terms of number of devices and connections in here. We're bigger than the Olympics on a single venue basis. The IT team also works very closely with mobile operators to ensure there won't be any areas of interference in mobile coverage within and around the venue. We also take special care to improve the energy efficiency of the Congress. Energy consumption during the event was a total of 3.5 gigawatts. 
This is the equivalent of the consumption of a city of 120,000 people for an entire month. 25% of this power supply comes from clean energy. Despite the amount of energy we use, we're very proud to say that we're in the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest carbon neutral trade fair. We're very conscious of our ecological footprint and, uh, you know, we take those things quite seriously. Maybe there is just one moment even more exciting than the build-up. The opening. Because when you show up, you see a finished product. You don't see what goes into it, the many, many meetings and, and discussions and strategy sessions and then how do we execute and how do we put things on timelines that allow it to just come together. Um, it's quite a, quite a unique process. And this process, all this huge teamwork effort during the run-up to the event, has a single goal. For us it's very important as well to ensure that the customer experience is the best ever. Customer care is the big challenge. But making over 101,000 people feel good about coming to the Mobile World Congress is anything but easy. It is a complex process that begins with mobility. In the very first moment that they arrive in Barcelona, the airport experience needs to be good, when they take a taxi, when they go to a hotel. During the 2016 Congress, Barcelona El Prat Airport operated 327 private jets an increase of 230% compared to a normal week. Some airlines operate extra flights every day during the Congress. When a plane lands, our crew is ready to give assistance to the attendees right at the moment they get off the plane. When you come with your maleta and as a normal passenger, you have a personalization in which you go to all the visitors so that you can come to this area where we find you, especially where you do this process of accreditation previous, which guarantees that when you get to Barcelona, that part and that trip you have done and you don't lose time in having to do it in the own fair. The Many meetings with local institutions have been held to guarantee that our customers' mobility experience runs as smoothly as possible. Transport is a key challenge because we're moving a lot of vehicles and we're moving a lot of attendees. We work closely with local police to avoid traffic congestion around the venue. Tango 22. It's estimated that during the four days of the 2016 event, traffic increased by more than 58%. Extra taxis were added, along with an expanded taxi rank, so that the attendees could move quickly into the city. We also modify street layouts, removing bollards to give better VIP access, and build pedestrian bridges to improve the flow of attendees to the venue. The access to the venue is another big challenge. When you have thousands of people coming through the door, you need to be very efficient. Have well-trained accreditation teams. Enable fast tracks and introduce new technologies to reduce the queues. What we've done this year for the first time, we're introducing the new digital badge. And the main benefit to this type of scanning, the NSC and the digital badge, is that you don't have to show your photograph ID every time you enter the, the event. Establishing health and safety procedures involves a lot of coordinating teams. We carry out fire drills with the city firefighters. There are meetings to coordinate with local authorities. Special security systems and programs are implemented. We also hold many training sessions to ensure all the security teams work within the same guidelines. Integrem en els equips de seguretat personal civil de la GSMA i d'altres serveis per donar un servei global i integral en el congressista. We build a police station on site to assist the attendees in different languages and more than 3,000 police officers and private security work during the event. We work really closely with the Ministerio, with the Generalitat and also with the City Council of Barcelona and Hospitalet and with the different entities all year round in order to pull this together. So everything from public works, transportation, uh, security, the, the, the various police uh, and, and security agencies, 
uh, on and on and on. We have a very close working relationship and, and we're very thankful for that. We couldn't do it w without this uh, great working relationship. Meals are also part of the experience and feeding over 101,000 people is really challenging. We serve 35 tons of food during the four days of the event. The attendees can choose between many options, from a quiet business lunch to a quick sushi snack. All kinds of food are served, from vegetarian, kosher, Chinese to Mediterranean cuisine. The Congress has over 2,000 exhibitors, dozens of keynotes, conferences and workshops. Attendees may feel overwhelmed with so much information. We've trained an army of assistants in various different training sessions. They're all well prepared to give the attendees information on any topic. We use different communication channels to provide all the information that is critical to the event. Through the website, the attendees can get the list of speakers, check the conference schedules, find the exhibitors on the show floor, or book a room through the B Network, our official supplier for hotel accommodations. With the app's new features, the attendees can create a profile for networking, check lists of contacts, collect registration credentials, or pre-order food. Other digital info devices are provided all over the site. Digital signage and the tap-and-go devices placed on site help the attendees find specific keynotes and other relevant on-site information. Many things happen at the Congress. We offer a lot of high-quality content, from CEO keynotes to summits or programs like the prestigious ministerial program. It is a unique platform for the world's most influential telecommunications leaders to unite and discuss innovation for the fully connected society. We have many programs and presentations. Every new feature of mobile technology, every new trend in the mobile industry can be seen here. What's going to happen in, in the next five years, I can see you today. Everything is happening here. Pretty amazing to see where the future is going. I think it's always hard to predict the future, obviously, uh, there's no doubt. And so what, what we have to do is provide the framework for whatever the future is. One of the star features of the 2016 edition was the Innovation City. The Innovation City is a development on the Connected City that we have uh, held at Congress for several years. It will be bigger, it will be better. Uh, we have enclosed the city for the first time to give an even greater immersive experience. Uh, I expect them to experience 5G technology, virtual reality, wearables and the latest in consumer electronics and see how those will change your everyday lives. I always go there with pleasure and it, it grows and, and it changes names, but this year really it was, uh, it was amazing and I understand that the number of visitors grew by more than 30% compared to last year, which is huge. At the end of the day, all this work on customer care can be summarized in one goal. Make networking easier. For us, networking is the number one reason why the attendees come to our Congress. So that, as you can see here, people can, you know, come here and just have a coffee, have a conversation, and network. This year, the essence of Barcelona was extended to our 10 networking gardens, a setting with artists, architecture, and entertainment. We want our attendees to have a positive and relaxing environment to have business meetings. We have VIP executive meeting rooms as well. They're built with high quality finishes, double walled, soundproofed. This is an example of our commitment to excellence. We focus very, very much on attention to detail. It's the little things that make the user experience, the attendees experience, the exhibitors experience, the speakers experience. At the end of the day, they say, you know what? My week in Barcelona for the Mobile World Congress uh, exceeded my expectations. The Mobile World Congress is more than an event. It is a unique experience that gives the attendees and the exhibitors many opportunities to further their knowledge, business and have fun.
but it has a, a very positive uh, return on investment. And that return is not necessarily just financial return. It is incentive. Um, it is the opportunity for them to you know, see everyone in the mobile industry in one place, one time of the year, we bring them all here together. And of course, it has a huge economic impact. In 2016, it is estimated to be 436 million euros. We contribute uh, a lot to the local economy. Uh, we contribute a lot to international uh, reputation. It is a unique partnership that we have. Uh, we can't be successful without them, and, and frankly, we help them be successful by having something like the Mobile World Congress here. We need 24 months of preparation, 12 days of build-up, and four days of show to give attendees the experience of being at the edge of innovation. But when the show ends, the creative wheel is still turning and the next edition is already being prepared. I think, you know, being done is also quite gratifying. And then we know we're, we're already behind for next year. So as soon as you finish, you know, you don't rest. You have to start working on, uh, on how do you make it better next year. This is GSMA Mobile World Congress, a tremendous multi-team effort, constantly pushing the boundaries to create the most exciting event in the world. Mobile World Congress is absolutely massive. There is no limit. Really high level. It's the right place to be. It's just so special, so special. It's just an exceptional event. I love this event. I, I love it. The satisfaction to be part of something that is really important. I feel extremely proud. The Mobile World Congress is just the most wonderful event in the world. I mean, others do it. Um, but we think we do it better.